Habib's aha, who is backstage here, and looks like we're going to wrangle him over. All right. They actually just perform with Paul and Christina. Legends. Right, how are you doing? Legends. I'm good. Yeah. So this is Mark, of course, from uh, AHA, who just walked off stage. Morton. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. God, that's awful. I'm so sorry. It's a long time. It's, it's been a minute, but that song has lived and lived and lived. It's been 25 years in this country. But it's, been, it's an amazing, amazing song. I mean, I confess, I graduated high school in uh, 1990. <clears throat> but your song was one of my favorite songs of all time. And must, you must hear that so many times around the world. Well, yes. Yeah. But it, 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 it can't it just get old. I don't know, it's a resilient thing, it, it seems. It's it just, um, it lives its own life. We can't really touch it. And so what do you, how do you feel when some of the, you know, the hotter stars of uh, today want to reach back and like make you be part of that? Is that a, that a, is that a good feeling? It's a, uh, yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a great feeling. It's, uh, you know, it reflects on the way it was for us when we started as well. You know, we, we relate to a lot of things that we looked up to when we, when we were young, when we were kids. Um, and that's how it goes in, in, in cycles. But again, you pick up on young artists as well. I mean, I'm in my 50s now, and I, you know, I, I, can, I can get a real kick out of, you know, very young artists doing great things. Who are, who are a couple of today's artists that you love to catch? Oh, I'm not going to give you names. Afraid to name one and then, and then offend the others, right? There you go. Can you tell us just a little bit? I mean, I know uh, for fans of a certain age, they've heard the story many times, but for a lot of the younger fans that are tuned in tonight. Yeah, artist now, would I, would I love to see here? He's Knuckle Bear. Oh, okay. Uh, right. I've just mentioned it now. There you go. And what do you love, what do you love about that? Well, you see, it's more on the spiritual side. It's like soul music. It's dance music for the soul. Fantastic. And one last question. Can you tell us a little bit about, like, back in the day when the magic happened in the studio and you, and you pulled, um, you know, that song together the first time? Tell, tell me a little bit about how that happened. The thing is, uh, that riff, which Pitbull now has, has picked on you know, and, and, and made his thing with, with Christina, that riff is the first thing I heard Mags of Aha when we met up. Uh, he and Paul were partners that already, they were in a band, and I was kind of joining, and I, that's the first thing I heard them play was that riff. And then we went and made the rest of the song, basically. And what inspired Take On Me? Well, that riff. Whatever, whatever, the, whatever, the, 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 the lyric. Inspired a lyric. That's one of those things. Take On Me is like uh, Love Me Do. You know? There you go. It started like that. All right, listen, Morton, thank you so much for coming by. And congratulations. I hope you really enjoyed that, uh, that, 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 that arena stop. Very cool. Very cool. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm Bill Rudy. I'm the uh, editor of Bill Rudy. You guys are J Lo's dancers, yeah? Correct. Yes. Yep. And, and so, what are your names? I'm Shannon. I'm Lake. I'm Gilbert. I'm Chase. So let me ask you guys. I mean, J Lo. It's got to be hard to be a dancer for J Lo because J Lo was a dancer, right? She's a great choreographer. She really knows her thing when it comes to dance. I mean, it's like, so it's like if I'm an editor and I'm working for like Hemingway or something, you know? Um, does it does it get like what, what's the vibe like when you guys are trying to? Like,